What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. As always, man, I just want to say thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, all you loyal subscribers out there, man, I see you guys posting, commenting, uh, all that stuff every single day, man. Don't think it doesn't go unnoticed. That's why we're here, man, uh, to do one of your guys' requests. And... Um, as always, there can only be one request per video. However, this one today is coming from a couple of different people on YouTube. Jack Duffy, Salvador Martinez, Fun Fun Fun, Reese Duncan Vlogs, Regan Coder, Emo Goth Boy 537, Jesus Guzman, and Master Daniel all want to see jake paul's team 10 van build man um now i looked this thing up on google because to be honest i'm not even really familiar with this thing i know we did jake paul's i believe it was a ford focus correct me if i'm wrong on the channel and by the looks of it this van is actually a mercedes but i think for the build today the Ford Transit Sport Van is actually going to be the best bet. So we're going to go ahead and buy this thing up today. Now, right off of the bat, normally I'd start with a manufacturer color, but this color is a little crazy. So I'm just going to go here, pick white for this, you know, your typical moving cargo van. But by the time we're done with this thing, I'm hoping to make this a full-blown off-road race van now, obviously right off of the bat we're gonna have to jump into the uh upgrade section here now engine swap wise i know this thing has like an old like a beater diesel engine in it i'm not really with that man i'm hoping we can get some sort of a v8 now as you can see five point you know what you know what i'm i'll leave the stock powertrain in this one guys only because i know that jake paul does not have a v8 swap in his van man so we're gonna keep it somewhat as authentic as possible now as far as the body aesthetics of this thing goes there's really not a whole lot of aero happening however this painted front bumper we could probably switch over to the plastic since it does look like jake's team 10 van definitely has the plastic bumper we're gonna go ahead throw that on the back as well and this thing's just looking more and more like a typical work van um, but we're gonna switch things up a little bit race tire compound is definitely going on here now whether uh jake has the, the race tire compound or not i'm thinking we're probably going to need to put a little bit of power in this thing to have a bit of fun so we're going to upgrade those tires as well um, now as far as the wheels go i'm going to skim through a couple of options until i find something that matches what's on this van right now so i'll let you guys know when i find that now there's really only a couple of wheels that look almost identical and it's kind of a toss up between these roadie forms here or oh I guess they're both roadie forms CBU or what are these the VCE T's now I think I'm going to go with these ones here just because they look a little bit closer to the ones that are on the team 10 van obviously they're not gold but we're going to be able to fix that up um, in the paint car section and we're going to just do a few different upgrades here clutch and differential mainly and i think that's probably going to be just about here it here i don't want to get too carried away with this build i kind of want it to be uh like i say similar to what the team 10 van in real life has but this thing is going to be an off-road build so i'm going to go ahead and put rally springs and dampers on here now we'll probably be doing a little bit of suspension uh twerking twerking tweaking i guess is a better way to put it um a little bit of suspension tweaking we should say uh, a little later on for now though we're gonna do some upgrades and it looks like we're doing all right as far as torque really not a whole lot of horsepower in this thing though um, but that's okay i think it'll still be fun nonetheless especially once we get it off road so we're gonna go ahead and install all of our upgrades there and now that we got that out of the way, we're going to jump into the tuning. Um, now, really, everything here is looking good. I just want to do a little bit of suspension twerking here. And really what I mean is I want to stiffen it up just a little bit so that we don't have too much body roll going around corners and stuff like that. 
Um, so we're going to do the springs and the anti. Oh, we didn't upgrade the anti roll bars. Alrighty, I guess anti roll bars are going to stay the way that they are for now. We might go ahead and upgrade those if we need to, if there really is too much body roll on this thing. Um, so now what I think we're probably going to do is jump into the find new design section here and see if we can find a Team 10 skin that somebody made for this Ford here. So I'm going to type that in right now. And just as I guessed, we definitely have a couple of different options here. Um, now it looks like whatever wheels this guy uses is almost spot on there. Oh, and they got the decal on the window. That is friggin' awesome. Um, so I'm going to go through here and find one that I like. Now, to be honest, this first guy almost has it down to a T with the whole window decal and everything. So we're going to go ahead and download this design. And now that we got that all out of the way, we are ready to hit the road with this build. Now, I'm pretty interested to see what this thing can do, but right off of the bat, it looks the part, man. If it doesn't perform well, it, at least it definitely looks good. So this thing definitely a diesel with those low RPM red lines. It's actually not pulling enter entirely terrible to be honest. Not too much body roll. Now I'm not 100% sure what this van would be used for. Uh, probably transporting, you know. I don't think it would be used for off-roading, but we're gonna off-road this one. And maybe see if we can do a little bit of donuts. That's, it, you know, it'll do a donut pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. So that's a good thing we've got going for us here. That red line could definitely be a little bit higher. We may have to go back and install some cams for that a little later on, though. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, that thing. Like, it's banking off the red line. The thing's so quiet, you can't even tell, man. Um, but nonetheless... It looks good, man. Let's get a little interior shot. Oh my God, look at this thing, man. This is literally a bus. And it's manual. Gotta love that. Yeah, those Europeans, clearly this is a European Ford, you know, made vehicle and I'll tell you, man, those Europeans definitely like their manual transmission. This thing is a beaut, man. She's pulling pretty good, too, considering. Let's take her off-road here, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? See how she performed. Oh, we're, we might roll it. Nope, just hitting a tree. All right, let's see what that diesel can do off-road. See if we can pull ourselves up this hill. Not doing a horrible job, but... Oh my, man. I mean, it's pulling consistently, but it just doesn't sound like there's much work being done at all by that engine. I guess that's a good thing. I mean, it's a nice little van, man. It's good on road. The only thing I'd really do if you guys were to do this build at home, get yourself a V8, man. That's the only thing this is missing, really. And I know, that once again, this is a European-built Ford vehicle. However, you know, over America, man. I mean, I'm in Canada, but, you know, we're over here, man. We like, we like V8s here in Canada, too, man. So that's really the only thing that I may go back and change about this build. Cams, well, I mean, I guess if we're doing a big old V8, we probably don't even have to do the cams. I'll probably put a whole new, whole new different RPM range on this thing, but um, I mean, I think it sounds good. It looks good. It just, oh man, don't worry about me. Just doing a video here. Um, it sounds good. It just doesn't go very fast. That's really my only discrepancy. Like when you get that, that red line sounds like an old school Toyota, man. Like an old, old. Uh, 3.0 Camry, man, just I don't know, that was a bad represent, bad representation of doing a rev, but um, yeah, I love it, man sounds amazing um, 
But yeah, you guys let me know what you think of this one down in the comments section. Are we anywhere close to some photogenic areas? Uh, let's fast travel back to the city here. You guys know me, I like to keep that urban scenery for our uh, little photographs here to end off the video, man. Um, so we're just gonna pretend we're doing a little friggin' delivery here in this uh, mall here. So as always, man, if you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, um, definitely do so because like I'm saying, we got videos coming all the time, man. New content on the go on the, you know, on the daily really is what it comes down to. Like I was going to say weekly, monthly, but no, man, we're doing this every single day. Um, so if you guys want to be a part of it, definitely subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section and, um, that's about it for today's builds. As always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Ooh, recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer or anything.